Halo 5 potentially getting split screen? Master Chief finally casted in the Halo TV show as well as an MCC Reach Flight update coming in this video. Stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another Halo news update video. If you enjoy these kind of videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know that you want to see more content like this and it greatly helps out the channel and this video as well. Leave a comment up down below after watching the video what your thoughts are on it. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel and want to stay updated with anything Halo related, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell because we all know sub feeds can be kind of weird at times. So let's get right into the video here. Also, before we go into this video, I just want to apologize for the lack of graphics or any visual descriptions on these videos like I normally do. But currently at the time of making this video, Comcast internet service is not working. And so then I have to make this video in anticipation of when I wake up in the morning, I can upload it. So sorry for the lack of uh, screenshots and things like that kind of show more descriptions of things. Uh, but I will still keep the Halo clips in. So let's get right into the video here. So starting off, yes. Halo 5 split screen was quite a rumor for a while there. I've probably seen a few YouTube channels talking about this as well. I haven't really had a chance to dive too much into it because I just got back from vacation. We'll get into that later in this video here. Uh, so but recently on the during the inside Xbox stream promoting, you know, probably talking about like the Xbox One S all digital edition, the discless Xbox One S. Uh, and talking is just showing, you know, probably a little promo video just kind of showing you all the cool stuff you can do with the Xbox. They actually showed a little bit of Halo 5, so obviously that's gonna spark the Halo community's you know interest. They're like, oh, well, Halo 5 getting represented, always good, good with that. But something was interesting about this little clip. That in this clip, they show that people playing on a TV screen, split screening Halo 5. So that certainly got the community riled up, going like, wait, are we finally getting split screen three and a half years later into the game? And so obviously it would create a lot of speculation, but it looked a little bit fishy. If you actually looked at the clip, you can see that the top half of the screen is showing somebody playing Coliseum and the bottom half of the screen is showing someone playing on the rig. And if anyone here is familiar with Halo 5, you know those are com two completely different multiplayer maps. But me being the person I am, I have to dive a little more into this because I got to make sure that this isn't just some weird new addition, that this is actually something that Microsoft is promoting. And actually, Unicheck from 343, one of the community members over there, talked about confirming this rumor. And I quote in this tweet saying, dropped a comment on Reddit debunking this one, but figured it's worth posting on Twitter too. There are no plans to make major updates like adding split screen to Halo 5, which I kind of figured would be the case. I wouldn't expect 343 to just three and a half years later into Halo 5 to add split screen. Obviously it would be a fantastic addition, but I think Halo 5's ship has kind of sailed when it comes to getting any major updates like that. So I totally understand that just being a weird thing. Sometimes Microsoft and the promotional things will just, the left hand doesn't exactly talk to the right hand. Uh, for example, when I used to work at Microsoft in the research development team, I uh, talked to, with somebody who used to be a data researcher for the Kinect. And when they first announced it, Everyone was excited, you know, they, they wanted to make sure everything was working properly. Obviously, it was a staged demo, so it was kind of, you know, all pre-screened. There was one motion in particular when it comes to hand motions and hand recognitions. The data research team did everything that was requested of them. But when they went to show off the Kinect on the stage, the person making the presentation for the Kinect made this motion to close something. Closing the hands, bringing it together, and bringing it down. Sorry to hit the mic there, but... And so then they would think, okay, that's probably an addition for the Kinect. Not exactly. That motion was never recorded. And so then that makes, so then later on that my friend was telling me how they had to crunch in enough data to confirm this hand motion that was never said or done or researched for the Kinect. So sometimes at Microsoft things like this just kind of slip through. Though we do know that Halo Infinite has been confirmed to have split screen in it. So we get to look forward to that. And they actually did say they do have a workable version of Halo Infinite with four player split screen at 343 right now. Now, depending how functional it is, we'll see, but hey, it worked. Now to the second part of this video, we have a brand new update when it comes to the Halo TV show for Showtime. You guys do know this is currently under development right now, and they actually are moving forward with this show. And they recently finally casted the Master Chief, and they made it public saying that 
Pablo Schreiber is going to be the Master Chief. If you guys don't know who Pablo Schreiber is, which I didn't either until this news came out, he has had previous work on some major titles like Orange is the New Black and American God, so some rather reputable TV shows right there. Uh, no word, though, if Pablo is going to be the masked man in the suit or that we'll actually see his face. Personally, I would really hope we don't and how hopefully that Pablo kind of maintains that, or at least the directors will hopefully maintain that Philip Master Chief being a bit of a mysterious kind of person to be the audience surrogate, if you will, which is basically the person who plays the point of the view of the audience. And also actually mentioned in this post I saw, which I didn't read about until just now, but saying that there actually is another character that has been created for this Halo TV show. Joining Schreiber is Yurin Ha. Ha will be playing a new character in the Halo universe named Quan Ah, which is kind of funny that they would just change the letters around for the last name. Maybe it's just coincidence. I don't know, but I find that kind of funny. Uh, but describing the character is saying that they're a shrewd, audacious 16-year-old from the outer colonies who meets Master Chief at faithful times for both of them. Which makes me think that you would have to have something probably along, probably along the lines of like Terminator 2 with John Connor and the Terminator kind of having that dynamic, which obviously would be, I think would work really well when it comes to the Master Chief where, you know, you have the kid being the more charismatic character of the show where the main player, as in saying with the Terminator back in Terminator 2, but this chance would be Master Chief being more stoic, robotic even. I think that dynamic has been proven to work really well. And as long as they don't make urine too annoying or too shrewd or audacious, I think it could work out really well. The show is set to start shooting in Budapest, Hungary this fall, which is a really great thing for me as well to know because they're not going to be shooting a whole lot of stuff on set. I want them to kind of be shooting on site, which kind of gives you that much more realistic feel when it comes to watching these shows. Obviously, sometimes you'll probably have to just do things on set to kind of get that true space sci-fi atmosphere, like shooting like in a spaceship or something like that. But when you're doing live action environments, the best way to do it is to do it on location, which I'm really glad that Showtime and 343 are willing to work together to cash out the cash needed to get the true sense of realism for this show. And lastly, potentially the delay of the flight programs for Halo Reach on the MCC. Recently on Halo Waypoint, Sketch did kind of give you the truth when it comes to this development process. As they have said, they want to keep open communication with the community, so I've always really appreciated that open, honest line of communication. And ever since Sketch has been the community manager, it really has been that and they want to keep you updated about how the progress is going. And we do know that initially that the plan was to have flighting programs on the Xbox One for Halo Reach start sometime later this April. Well, right now we're towards the second half of April and we still haven't received anything when it comes to the flighting program for on the MCC for Halo Reach. And that is mainly because we're still working out some issues with the game. Obviously, porting a game over to the Xbox One on MCC is still a big underhanding accomplishment by itself. As we do know, the original Master Chief was completely broken when it was released, so we do know how difficult this can be. But also, doing this on PC and trying to have that flying program with release within a reasonable amount of time together is very difficult, and they're showing how this is going to be a little bit tricky. As I mentioned about how some things on the PC have been kind of not really working so well, as in uh, key bindings not being super functional. They did mention that there is a program you can download to be able to do it, but obviously it's not the intended experience that you want when it comes to doing PC Halo. So you want to have that done properly. Uh, the Halo Infinite team has actually been working hard on playing Reach on PC to try to work out all these issues and try to make sure it's a true experience that you would all want to have. Uh, later on in the post, uh, Sketch does mention that Postums is currently working on an April dev update blog uh, targeted to release later this week. Though, after reading that, I did see on Twitter, uh, well I do have to bring this on my phone because at the time making this video, Comcast has completely tased my internet, so I'm just making this video with the hope that by the time I wake up in the morning, I can post this video. But anyways, guys, 
Uh, so, saying, my friends, today's playlist update for MCC has taken longer than anticipated and has moved to a later date. Apologies for the delay, but we'll keep you up to date on when it will be ready to go live. Now, that's not necessarily the same thing, but letting you guys know that they're kind of having to rework a few things, probably involving with the Reach MCC update. Now, if you're going to make a blog post about it, you want to make sure that what you're saying to people is official when it comes to that stuff. So sadly enough, it does look like we may have to wait a little bit longer for the MCC to be put on PC. Obviously, I'm okay with that. Obviously, we do want to have it as soon as possible, but obviously we want to be working in a proper function. Uh, interesting thing as well, noted this that they do say that the flighting program will not be under NDA, which is really important. If you guys remember back last year when the MCC first started the flighting program, that the flighting programs were under NDA. You couldn't make videos on it, you couldn't stream it. Well, apparently they're saying they're gonna have no NDAs. So if you guys do not get in, do not, do not get into the MCC flighting program for Reach, don't worry. I guarantee you people will be making videos about it. I certainly will if I get a chance to be in that. And also, will be doing live streams about it. Even if I don't get in, I will still make videos about it because I want to let you guys in the know for sure. And this is a good, I want you guys to have this channel be a place where you want to come for any news or information or anything Halo related. Uh, also, Sketch does mention that they're trying to grab a few screenshots as well to show to you guys the progress that's happening with the MCC and Halo Reach. Also, just want to mention, guys, sorry for the lack of content last week, but I actually was on vacation in Hawaii, which was an experience all in its own that was super great uh, to have a lifetime experience. I actually proposed to my girlfriend. And she said yes, so pretty fantastic stuff right there. Uh, if you guys want more details or see any pictures, uh, I did post it on my Twitter. You can check me out there or on my Instagram, which I think is also linked in the description by the time this video goes up. Anyways, anyways guys, that's the Halo news for you this day. If you guys want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, please make sure to tap that subscribe. Keep you up to date with anything Halo related going on the channel here. If you like these news information videos, please make sure to tap that like button. It greatly helps out the channel. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the video and the topics we discussed. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel or missing any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.